Around lawmakers have filed a few bills that deals with nicotine and tobacco products. One will restrict access and the other will help generate money for education. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey has more. A South Carolina lawmaker wants to keep nicotine products like vapors and e-cigarettes out of the hands of teens. Vaping products are marketed for preteen and early teenage boys and girls and it's marketed that they are safer than smoking. And the misperception of that concept was very troubling for me. Representative Beth Bernstein's bills prohibit teens from going into smoke shops and require no vaping policies at public schools. The bills would also create a roadblock in one of the main ways teens get their hands on vape pens by requiring extra identification for online purchases. So that you might be able to get past the third party verification, age verification when you're ordering online, but if you're ordering it, you will have to present an ID at the time of delivery. The bills filed by Representative Bernstein were combined into a cumulative bill that passed out of subcommittee this morning. Other lawmakers are also trying to deal with nicotine and tobacco. One group has already filed a bill that would raise the price of cigarettes. The bill proposes a surtax equal to five cents for each cigarette. The money generated by the tax would be paid directly to the Department of Education for teacher raises. In Columbia, George Reed Godfrey, WJBF News Channel 6. And if this bill passes, five cents a cigarette will cost you an extra dollar per pack.